In other news, a few months ago, many South Texas farmers were battling weather conditions that prevented them from starting their planting season. And while they are feeling optimistic about this season's crop, they now have another issue to deal with. We're talking about bugs. Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez is at the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Center. And Roland, I'm, I'm just curious here. Can you tell me what kind of bugs we're talking about? Hi, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. We are talking about the stink bug. And with harvesting season just around the corner, farmers are doing everything they can to make sure these insects don't slow them down. That pest is the stink bug. Many of the species can feed on several types of crops, such as cotton, wheat, sorghum, and canola. In normal situations, uh, insects come into various crops and, and they can uh, con uh, continuously reduce the yield if they're not uh, taken care of. I mean, we take the stink bugs, we're looking at, at half to one stink bug per one to two heads is what we consider an economic threshold, which that means they're going in there and uh, hurting the production or, or seed production or bowl production to the point that it's costing the producer more not to spray than it is to spray. Many South Texas farmers will be the first to tell you if they did not have to spray for bugs, they wouldn't. But if they don't spray, they can not only lose their crops, but also their potential income. It, it's not cheap to go in and, and take care of these insects. I mean, we're talking, uh, you know, anywhere from $10 plus per acre. So if a, if a producer had 2,500 acres of, of uh, cotton, just for instance, you know, you're looking at $25,000 per per shot of insecticide over that crop. When the farmers are done spraying for pests, the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Center helps them recycle their plastic pesticide containers. Well, on, on these containers, there is a, a company called US Ag Recycling who's supported by ACRC, which is the Ag Container Recycling uh, Council. And uh, they do come by on a, a periodic basis and pick up these these uh, empty containers. Here in San Patricio County, we normally have two collection days a year, usually in June and October. Uh, we collect normally anywhere from 2,500 to 3,500 jugs along with some barrels and cut up uh, totes. And when it comes to these cotton containers, excuse me, these plastic containers, it's a win not only for the recycling companies, but also for the farmers as well. Guys? All right. Does anybody else notice <laughs> yes. all of the bugs that are attacking? I wonder Roland if those are there? the bugs he's talking about. <laughs> that's, that's not a prop. That's no, actually. That, we, we didn't do. We didn't plan that, folks. That's, Poor guy. That's the guy who's. We just, we said, all right, we need bugs for so it's a little yeah. bit. No, yeah. those are real. Bring those, them in. Those bring are real. them in. Boy, I tell you, it's going to be like that for a while. Oh man. And